Okay, today is open up new shit day. Uh, as you can see, I got some new shit and I'm about to open it up. Don't know what it is, but any, many, many, mo. Bitch, you got to go. Let's see what this is. We're going to use my pops. Old school butterfly knife. Cut that shit open. We don't got gangster key today. Don't know what this is. Oh, you lack case. Uh, once again, see what this one's about. Now, this is the perfect case to give to your lady. You can be like, girl, here goes some nut candy. Let's open this up. <laughs> Judge me if you must. I'm sorry. I think I'm gonna just have to edit myself during this whole video. But look at that. It looks pretty, you know, nice for a girl. You know, hence, nut candy. High taste. Um, put it on. Simple. We're not gonna. Yeah, um, this is this is perfect for my girl. Uh, some dudes may like this, you know. There's nothing wrong with you if you like this. If you do, but uh, some dudes may like this, you know. More power to you. Let's just review the case now. It's built. Uh, it's a decent build, you know. what I'm saying it's like a it's like a rubberized plastic. Um, looks like it can absorb some of a shot. Button still click nice. Um, yeah, button still click nice. Let's see what else. These uh, ports are easily accessible as far as like the speaker goes. The S Pen, you know, you can push that. The case actually, you know, will move out the way if you push it. Let's see something. I don't want to. Hmm. I mean, I like it for pushing the pin. I don't know how sure I am about that for protection. Like, if that drops where that pin is, to be 100% honest with you, it moves, as you can see in the video. Um, that can scratch if it lands in the right spot. But I'm seeing a lot of cases that don't have the proper protection right around the pin. Uh, they probably could have put, like, a lip right there, but it would have been, you know, less accessible for the pin. But it is what it is. Another thing I want to be testing, like, say... We're going to test that out. Somebody you know, asked me, did the heart rate monitor work on the case? And I was like, I should have put that in the video. That's a good, you know what I'm saying, thing to test. So we're going to test it. Put my finger on the sensor. And it's measuring. Yeah. So it works fine with the heart rate. Um, yeah. Um, I mean, if you're a girl and you like things like this, this is a dope case. I mean, I think that this is a case that a lot of females will buy. Let me put it in your face real quick. If you want a decent case for your girl, she got a Note 4. Note 5, excuse me. It's a decent case. Instead of just assuming two, I'm going to pause this video, go get some of my headphones, and I'm going to go plug in the, um, the headphones just to see how well they fit into this slot. Instead of just saying, yeah, it'll fit the slot, we're going to test it out, and we're going to get a charge as well. Be right back. All in your face. Two different types of headphones. I got my Samsung Level on, but I'm using the um, one of the original Beats cords for it. It's kind of messed up, so we're gonna test this one out first, and we're gonna put that all up in your face. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. So I knew this was gonna fit just fine because these are thin base cords. You know what I'm saying? Fits in just fine, decently enough space. And usually a way to tell if it's gonna fit is if it doesn't cover most of the frame of the device, then you're good, because they're not going to have too many headphone cords that actually go over the you know, frame, but some do. But uh, yeah, that goes in, no problem, not even touching the case at all. Um, next, some of my favorite headphones, my uh, Sony Studio Monitor MDI 7506s, is by. All right, so, you know, uh, yeah, fits those two, and it's just right. It's just right. It's not, well, barely pushing up on that edge right there. But that's fine because that lip actually moves. So, uh, yeah, we're good to go. Um, and this is actually a pretty hefty cord. As you can see, it's one of the ones that screw into a quarter inch, you know what I'm saying, from the 3.5. So, yeah, with that being said, um, it is a decent case for a girl. I would say, you know, some dudes may like this. Um, but if you bought into this case and you realize that you didn't like it, then you should have thought that, you know, any case that's called nut candy, you should be buying in as a dude. Let me just be real. Some things I do like about this case, so if you look at the lip, it's the really only thing I don't like personally is the fact that this design is not for me. You know what I'm saying? This is definitely going to my girl. Uh, that design, it's not even a womanly design, but once you actually put a lot of them there, 
it looks kind of, you know, floral and kind of, you know, girly, like little girly. But if you got the different pattern there, I can definitely rock with it. Because some things that I do like about the case, I'm just noticing now, I'm really looking at this through a camera. But, uh, yeah, there's lips. You like that nut candy? Look at this. Even the name work out. You like nut candy? On these corners and this little screw type, you know, there's, there's lips on it so it does sit up. I really don't like uh, cases that sit flush. The um, Samsung cameras tend to protrude. This, you know, is definitely not touching the camera if it's sitting down like that. So that's a good thing. Also, there's a lip on the front of it as well. So, you know, it's definitely not, uh, it's definitely not, you know, interfering with that. So this is the, uh, the charger test, you know, just simply putting in a charger. With the uh, you like nut candy case, high take. Let it go. Yep, fits in there beautifully spaced out. You have no problem fitting your headphone jack, your charger, none of that stuff. Just like a case should be. Like I said, cool little case. Nut candy. Yeah, decent case. You know, you looking for you know a case for your girl. Give her some nut candy. Look at all this nut candy in your face. Yeah, and another thing too, it's pretty cheap. If you look at it, let's go into. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cheap. $11.99, the colors that come in in black, gray, mint green, blue, a red, which really looks pink, transparent, and then um, they got the little multicolored screen protectors. Wait, what is transparent? Is that the same case? So yeah, transparent actually doesn't have the... Uh... Oh no, that's the original... Um clear TPU case I've reviewed in the past so yeah they just they're just putting them together but yeah you got the different colors you know $11.99 that ain't too bad uh, yeah the things I like about it are the price point comes in a lot of different colors and I also like the fact that being that it's see-through you can still see the color and the beauty of your phone and everything like that you still see the way your phone looks I do like the raised edges and nothing comes in contact you got lips on everything even on the back so the camera is good there's no contact with the, you know, there's no issues putting your official charges in there. Uh, no issues putting headphones in. Only downside I don't like is this little, you know, movable edge because, you know, that's hitting phone right now. You know what I'm saying? That's moving. But, uh, yeah, um, like everything about it except that right there, decent price. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it's real good because when you give it to somebody, you be like, look, you like that nut candy? Put it in your face. You like how it tastes? How, how it tastes? <laughs> Get you some nut candy.